Now moving on to the question nine. So this figure shows a sketch of the curve C, which has an equation this. Now we need to find the exact value of the y coordinate of point A and point B. Now point A and point B, at point A and point B, the curve intersects the y axis. We know that at y axis, the value of x is zero. So what we can do is that we can set this equation to x equals zero. So this will give us two divided by three sine three uh, y plus pi by four. 3y plus pi over 4, this is equals to 0. Now we can say that sine 3y plus pi over 4 is equals to 0. So from this we need the first two positive solutions of y. So one of the values will be uh, sine inverse zero now the thing is that sine inverse zero would be equals to zero now this is a correct solution but this is the coordinate of this point we need this coordinate and this coordinate so in order to get the y coordinate of a we need to use the cast diagram which is a c d s that's theta and that's 2 pi minus theta and that's pi plus theta and this is pi minus theta so one of the solutions would be pi minus zero which is pi and if you add two pi to this solution you will get the next solution so zero plus two pi would be two pi if you're still confused on how to solve trigonometric equations, we will soon release a video on how to solve trigonometric equations and trigonometric identities. But for now, just keep this in mind that in order to get two corresponding solutions, I mean, in order to get the next corresponding solution, you just need to add 2 pi to the current solution. So from this, we just need to make y the subject. So one of the values of y will be pi over 4 and the other value would be 7 pi over 12. So this is the answer to the first part of the question. Now we know that this is the y coordinate of A and this is the y coordinate of B. Now let's move on to the next part of the question. We need to show that dy over dx whole squared is equal to 1 over p minus qx squared. So first of all, we need to find out the value of dx over dy because the equation is in this format. So if we find out the value of dx over dy, uh, wait. So dx over dy would be equal to two cos three y plus pi by four. So that's two cos three y plus pi divided by four. Now we just need to flip this whole equation to find out the value of dy over dx. So dy over dx would be equals to 1 divided by 2 cos 3y plus pi by 4. Now we need to write this in terms of x because as you can see that the given format is in terms of x. Now we know that x is equal to 2 over 3 sine 3y plus <coughs> Pi by four. <coughs> All right. Uh, let's see if we can replace this part. We know that cos. Uh, we know that sine squared theta is equals to one minus cos squared theta. If we make sine theta the subject, we will get 
root over 1 minus cos squared theta. Okay, so, okay, so basically we just need to make dy over dx whole square the subject. So let's uh, square this whole thing. So if we square this, this will be 4 and this will be 4 cos squared. Now the thing is that we can write cos squared 3y plus pi by 4 as 1 minus sine squared 3y plus pi divided by 4. And we know that x is equal to 2 over 3 sine 3y plus pi by 4. So the value, value of x squared would be equal to 4 by 9 sine squared 3y plus pi by 4. If we make sine squared 3y plus pi by 4 the subject, we will get 9x squared divided by 4. So we can replace this with 9x squared divided by 4. So the final answer would look something like this. 4 minus 9x squared. So this is the answer to part B. Now in the part C, the normal to C at A and the tangent to C at B intersect at the point D. Using the answer to part B and the sketch of the curve C at in figure 2, find in simplest form the exact x coordinate of D. Now the thing is that first of all we need to find the equation for these two lines. Let's first find out the equation of the tangent to C at point B. So the tangent to C at point B would look something like this. If we substitute, um, okay, so there will be two values. Hmm, so that's a problem. Uh, wait. So using this equation will be a bit problematic, but we can use the second equation, I mean the first equation, which is dy over dx is equals to 1 divided by 2 cos 3y plus pi divided by 4. Let's first find out the gradient of the tangent. We know that at point B, the value of y is 7 pi by 12. 7 pi divided by 12. So this will give us a value of 1 over 2. So this will give us a value of 1 over 2. Now let's find the gradient at y equals pi by 4. Okay, uh, let's work with this later. Let's first find out the equation of the tangent. So the equation of the tangent will look something like this. y minus y1 equals 1 divided by 2 times x minus x1. Now as you can see, we just need to substitute the coordinate of, D of b into this equation. The y coordinate is 7 pi divided by 12. And the x coordinate is 0. So the equation of the tangent will look something like this x divided by 2 plus 7 pi by 12. So this is the equation of the tangent. Keep this in mind. Now let's find the equation of the normal. Normal at a. Let's first find out the equation of the tangent at A, uh, not the equation, the gradient of tangent at A. So we just need to substitute the value of y coordinate of point A into the dy over dx equation. 
into this equation. So this will give us a value of so this is equals to negative 1 over 2. So the gradient of the normal the gradient of the normal would be positive 2. Positive 2 because the tangent is perpendicular to the normal and we know that the product of two gradient uh, the product of the gradient of two perpendicular lines will always be negative one so that's how we got the gradient of the normal to be two so the equation of the normal will look something like this y minus y1 time equals two times x minus x1 so let's substitute the coordinate of a into this equation the y coordinate is pi by 4 and the x coordinate is 0 so the equation will look something like this now the thing is that we need to find the coordinate of d the exact x coordinate of d the normal and tangent intersect at the point D, which means that at point D, the both of the values of Y of the tangent and normal will be the same. So we can say that Y equals Y. Now we can just equate the two equations. 2x plus pi by 4 is equals to... Um, x over 2 plus 7 pi by 12 x over 2 plus 7 pi by 12 now if we make x the subject this will so this will give us a value of 2 pi over 9 so that is the answer for this question now I will see you guys in the next video and if you have any confusions regarding the solutions please let us know in the comment section and we will try to answer each and every single one of your comments as soon as possible.